Hi, I'm Brent Ramsey with Canon USA, and this is the Canon EOS C700 FF. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of this intriguing new model in the EOS C700 series that joins the C700, the C700 PL, and the C700GS models. Built on the C700 frame, the camera is virtually identical to the other models. However, the C700 FF is a full-frame cinema camera system with an incredible amount of recording options and system flexibility. Now, there's another video that highlights the recording features, but in this video, let's get a closer look at the camera itself. First up, the most interesting aspect, and what really differentiates this camera model is the C700 FF sensor itself and its impressive dynamic range of 15 plus stops. Unlike previous Canon full-frame sensors that are available in the DSLR line, like the 36 by 24 millimeter 1DX Mark IIs, for instance, this sensor has been designed to fit the proper aspect ratio of cinematography. It's a full-frame 5.9K, 20.8 megapixel CMOS sensor with an active image area measuring 38.1 millimeters by 20.1 millimeters for a 189 or 17 by 9 ratio, corresponding completely to the established 35 millimeter full frame format. The sensor diagonal of 43.1 millimeters allows for the use of full frame lenses, and it's engineered with three different sensor modes to allow for the use of conventional super 35 millimeter lenses or super 16 millimeter lenses as well. It's available in PL, or EF cinema locked, and the mounts can be swapped. The EF mount provides loads of Canon camera system options like lens metadata and dual pixel autofocus and focus guide assist functions, while the PL version supports the Cook communication standards of eye technology. Looking at the operator side of the camera, you get a really good look at the modular design of the C700 FF it's a full-size cinema camera, extremely well-balanced, allowing for expandability with a variety of components and accessories. The magnesium body is compact and lightweight, it's weighing just 7.6 pounds, and easily allows for studio-style or handheld configurations. The built-in cheese plate along the top contains plenty of quarter 20 and 3 8 inch attachment points to support many accessories like this top handle and the optional EVF V70 OLED electronic viewfinder. This side contains some of the most frequently used controls as you might expect and perfectly supporting the full frame look and providing precise depth of field control. The C700 FF features a motorized internal ND unit with two, four and six stops of ND and an expandable eight and 10 stops. They're glass filters and they can be clean. In this recessed area, you'll find focus assist in magnification and peaking and exposure assist with false color and waveform monitor. Here's the record button, tally lamp, and the speaker down here. Back to the top, you have the focal plane tape hook, a customizable control dial, and a custom switch. And push auto iris right here for when an EF lens is attached. The most important element on the right side is the control display. And here you make quick camera adjustments like frames per second, iris, shutter, ISO, color, and white balance. And you dive deeper into each one for fine tuning. Here's a user assign button, alternate setup screen, time code, and playback. And many of these buttons illuminate for easy reading in the dark. Access the familiar Cinema EOS menu system with the select set dial, home, back, and info buttons prevent accidental changes to your camera settings with the lock button, and finally, here's the power button. The C700 FF supplies a V-Lock battery adapter that comes attached to the camera. This accepts a standard 14.4 volt battery block. It's removable, and in this configuration, the extension module is attached, which allows for the connection of the Codex CDX 36150 RAW recorder. It has one standard P-Tap on the V-Lock battery plate. Looking around at the back of the camera, on the right side, you'll see the inputs and outputs. Here's a 12 volt, four pin XLR jack, which accepts a range of 12 to 20 volts. If you're set up like this, 
and you're using the Codex 36150 recorder, then you can power the camera off a 24 volt source using the two pin Limo on the Codex itself. The Codex will pass power through to the camera, allowing you to power the entire system off of a block battery. The EOS C700FF has seven video output terminals. There are four 3G SDI terminals, and their outputs vary according to internal record configurations, and two monitor HD SDI outputs that allow for a viewing of on-screen displays, and there's one 4K HDMI output. Now, here's a GenLock and time code here, two XLR audio inputs here, two remote connections, remote A and remote B, for the optional RCV100, which allows you to control various shooting related functions from a distance. There's an Ethernet terminal with an Ethernet indicator here. Now, looking at the right side of the camera, you'll notice right away the optional OU700 UI, which mirrors the control display on the operator side. Now this is super convenient to have on the C700FF, but not absolutely required. But your assistant will not have to bother you as much to access camera controls. Now it hinges, and if you lift it up, you'll access the recording media. Now there's two CFAS card slots which allow for relay and double slot recording. And then here's the SD card slot, which is primarily for proxy recording but also saving and loading camera settings and installing user-created LUTs and firmware. Now here's another bright red record button. Back here are the audio input controls. Up top, this is what we call the system extension terminal, which supports optional accessories like GPS and Wi-Fi adapters. In the front is the air intake, and to the back, the exhaust. And here's another focal plane tape measuring hook. Moving back around to the front of the right side, We've got this 3.5 millimeter stereo mini plug mic terminal, and then this proprietary video output for connecting the optional EVF V70. There's a two amp, 24 volt, three pin Fisher port, and below that, a 12 volt, two pin Limo port. This control connection is for the optional OU700 remote operation unit. Back on the camera front, we've got another record button and a one shot focus assist button which reminds me to point out that any of these buttons with a number can be reassigned to one of over 50 different camera functions. That wraps up the walk around of the EOS C700FF external features. For more information on the C700FF, check out the Canon USA website. I'm Brent Ramsey, thanks for watching.